so we have seen that a root the main functions are absorbing water and minerals and then provides structural stability for a plant the next is the first root that comes from a plant is called the radical so when a seed is buried into the ground the first root that comes from the plant is called the radical a roots four major functions are so we are going to see what are the four major functions of a root so the first is absorption of water and inorganic nutrients so the first main function of the root is absorption of water and inorganic nutrients that are needed for the healthy growth of a plant the second important function is anchoring of the plant body to the ground and supporting it and the second main function of the plant is to anchor the plant to the ground and supporting it the third is storage of food and nutrients so the third main function is to store food and nutrients and the fourth is translocating water and minerals to the stem the next job or the next function of the root is to translocate is that to provide the water and minerals to the stem so these are the four main functions of the root first is absorbing water and inorganic nutrients the second is anchoring the root the plant to the ground and supporting it the third function is storage of food and nutrients and the fourth function is translocating the water and minerals to the stem so these are the four major functions of the root and in root we are going to see the two main types of root so the first is the first is tap root and the next is fibrous root so we have two types of roots so the first type of root is your tap root and the next is your fibrous root so the tap root so we are going to see in detail about the tap root and let us see a picture of a tap root so this is the picture of a tap root so so uh, we are going to talk about the tap root so this is the picture of a tap root so you see the root that grows below the ground so this is the tap root so tap root is a thick root which grows straight into the ground with many small roots so the tap root is a thick root which grows straight into the ground with many small roots so these are the small roots in the ground with many small roots sprouting laterally so these this is the main root and from it these small roots sprout they sprout laterally so again i tell you the tap root is a thick root which grows straight into the ground with many small roots sprouting laterally the main function of the tap root is to absorb water and minerals to the plant so the main function of this tap root is to absorb the water and minerals to the plant example is your carrot and radish and the carrot and radish are edible tap roots edible is something that we can eat raw the next are edible tap roots so tap root is a type of root that goes deep underground in search of water so this tap root it goes deep into the ground in search of water example is examples of tap roots are mustard radish beetroot turnip parsley coriander etc so these are all examples of tap root so the tap root is a thick root which grows straight into the ground with many small roots sprouting laterally 
and the main function of the tap root is to absorb water and minerals to the plant example are your carrot radish mustard beetroot turnip parsley coriander etc and these are all edible tap roots tap root is a type of root that goes deep underground in search of water so we have seen that we have seen the four main functions of the root and out of two roots there are two main types of root that is your tap root and your fibrous root and we have seen in detail about the tap root and tap roots are edible tap roots like your carrot your radish your beetroot your coriander your parsley etc